Hi there, teachers. It's Kat from catteacher.com. I wanted to show you the very first installment that I've made in my ManyCam digital library, and it's all about animals. Now, what I've kind of done is I've tweaked everything just a little bit, and I've added some really cool backgrounds. This should be really easy for making rewards or showing your student uh, different habitats and different animals that live there. Um, or it can just be for fun. Maybe you go to the zoo, and you can look around and look at some animals. So I wanted to show you guys basically what I've got for you. Um, is over two, I think it ends up being 290 objects that I've created for you guys. Now, some of them look a little something like this. Uh, if you can notice that this kind of frilly, flowery background, these are usually associated with the verbs. So this one, you might present the word adopt, or you might talk about the cage, or pet, or meat, something like that. Um, we've also got the word help. Now everything is labeled, so you will be able to search for something, um, especially if you're, you're wanting to look for the word adopt. You will be able to just simply type in the word in the search box and click on and off that item. Now um, if we go back and we just look, I've put every single item into animals. It's totally up to you. I've tried my best to label the way that I would want to search for them. But if you don't think that this is helpful to you, you can always change them yourself. You can add the word in here, maybe if you want to add the word cage. That way, when you go up here and type the word cage, that will also show up because you've added it to the label and you've renamed it there. So uh, what I want to show you guys is my new backgrounds. And uh, basically, we've got 15 different backgrounds. And if you're interested in just looking at the backgrounds, you can go to your file folder, hit search, and just start typing in the word backgrounds. And you can see lots of different backgrounds that are available. Now, if I want to go to the aquarium and I want to type in sea animals, I have added the word sea animals to all of the animals that belong in the sea. So that makes it a little bit easier. Um, if you guys want to go and see a killer whale at the aquarium or perhaps you want to see a manta ray, you can just start typing in these items. Maybe let's type in ray and you can turn this guy on and off. Or again, if you just want to type in the word C, you can just add a whole bunch of different animals all at the same time and then we can place them into different parts of the aquarium. So that might be kind of fun for that. I've got a little farm feature here, and if I type in the word farm, those are going to be all the animals associated with the farm. So we might have a couple of piglets running around, and we've got a little turkey. He wants to be up top here, and we might even go ahead and put, I don't know, let's put a little, a little kid or a little goat here, and he can be quite small. Uh, if you're looking for something outside of the farm realm, he might be in pets, and I want a little kitten, because of course not nothing's more fun than a little kitten on a farm. And so you can sort of build your scenes here. Now I've got sea animals, and if you want to type in the word sea, sometimes you can type in the word beach, but I think it's better if you type in the word sea for sea animals, because um, then we could put some coral here. If you want to type in the word shells, we can find some shells on the beach, something like that. And remember, you can always resize these in ManyCam 7. So you can put a bunch of shells on the beach for the students to find. And yeah, so that should be really fun. You have the ocean waves. So if you want to type in the word dolphin, we've got the word dolphin here. And you can go and you can always search within the folder as well. So if you've got other files and things like that, maybe you want to search for a whale. So we've got two different kinds of whales here that might be in the ocean. We've got a safari and what we can do with these safari animals is if you type in safari, I've tried my best to uh, label these correctly to put safari. So we could probably get a cheetah who's running really quickly or maybe a giraffe that's relaxing over here and finally a lion. So you can build up this scene over here. Maybe the cheetah is in the hills, something like that. We've got our glacier and our Arctic animals. I'm trying to think of what I've labeled them as other than just their little names. So they are probably going to be under zoo animals. I've tried to keep this fairly simple to try to make it easier for the young students. But of course, a polar bear lives on the glacier. Uh, you might be able to find a sea animal or a seal, something like this. And I think we also have a sea lion in here as well. 
Where is my little sea lion? Sea lion, or how about a tiger seal? Nope, I'll have to add those ones in. <laughs> so uh, other items like these, you might be able to find a penguin. Oh, I even spelled it wrong and it still found it. So yeah, so we've got lots of little items that we can have and then maybe we could have crisplash. We could have the penguin go into the sea here. Uh, this is kind of a silly one that I just made. Uh, I thought it would be kind of fun because you might want to feed your animals. So if you have pets, perhaps, um, you might have a dog bone and you might want to feed it to your dog. So here's our little puppy and he's going to roar, 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 and he's going to come up and he's going to get that food. Uh, you might have, uh, if you just want to click this one off, but you can't find it in your list, you can go here and just find this word bone and click it off right here. Now you have your little puppy here and you might want to, let's talk about food. We can type the word food in. What do we have? So we have some meat. Maybe we have some meat here that we want to feed the lion for some reason. So we've got the lion and we're going to feed the lion some meat. So that might be kind of fun and interesting. Uh, or you could just make it simple and give the little dog his food. This is kind of a fun one. I really like this one. You could have the little insects. So if you type in the word insects and you go to, say, a dragonfly, you can put it under the magnifying glass and have it nice and big for the student to look at. And you can look at the dragonfly. And then you can kind of put him in our little jar of insects that we have over here. So uh, the possibilities are endless. Uh, the, the list is not exhaustive. You know, I am trying to kind of hit up most of what the kids are learning for beginners to intermediate, but I am happy to get suggestions, uh, just like I couldn't find my little sea lion. I will definitely add in a sea lion after talking about this. So uh, please reach out to me at cat at catteacher.com if you have any questions, concerns, or if you'd like to purchase this product and you'd like to see some more animals in the future, uh, don't forget to send me a message so that uh, I can do, you know, monthly updates or something like that to make it even bigger. It's probably going to end up being something like 500 objects by the time I'm done with it. Who knows? So you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time on catteacher.com. Thank you guys.